This video is provided for informational purposes only. Always consult with qualified cooling tower installation and safety experts. The Marley Basin Guard filter saves time and money by simplifying the cleaning of the cooling tower's hot water basin and protecting cooling tower components. Here we'll take you through the steps to easily install the Basin Guard filter in less than an hour. Step 1. Prepare basin for install. Clean basin of large debris that can impact the integrity of basin guard and ensure nozzles are seated flat against the basin floor. Step 2. Open the box of filter media. Inspect parts for correct quantity and condition. Step 3. Unfold fine numbers R11 and R12, one of each per basin. Step 4. Install R11 and R12 parts under the flume. Ensure the flat side is up. Once in place, the media will pierce over the U-bolts. Step 5. Install R10 parts in the open portion of the basin. Ensure the flat side is up. Once in place, the media will pierce over the U-bolts. Step 6. Open the box containing the stainless steel grid. Inspect for correct quantity and condition. Step 7. Install the SS grid using the install drawing and referencing your tower model. Fine numbers will be a combination of R13 through R15. These simply lay flat on top of the filter media. Step 8. Double check that each component is properly placed. Step 9. Repeat steps 1 through 8 on the other basin. Step 10. Rebalance the flow over both basins. The Marley Basin Guard filter saves time and money by simplifying the cleaning of the cooling tower's hot water basin and protecting cooling tower components. Here we'll take you through the steps to easily replace your Basin Guard filter. Step 1. Turn off the tower if the tower is running. If tower isn't running, skip to step 2. If tower can't be turned off, consult engineering for procedure. Step 2. Release old filter media from the U-bolts, then carefully roll up each piece, trapping large debris inside. Move the media from under the flume to the open portion of the basin before rolling for easier handling. Step 3. The basin guard filter is designed to capture large debris. Flush any remaining fine debris from the basin using a hose. Alternatively, open the HC valve to flush through the tower. Step 4. Open the box of new filter media. Step 5. Unfold fine numbers R11 and R12, one of each per basin. Step 6. Install R11 and R12 parts under the flume. Ensure the flat side is up. Once in place, the media will pierce over the U-bolts. Step 7. Install R10 parts in the open portion of the basin. Ensure the flat side is up. Once in place, media will pierce over the U-bolts. Step 8. Reinstall the stainless steel grid in the correct orientation, referencing the install drawing. Step 9. Repeat steps 1 through 8 on the other basin. Step 10. Rebalance the flow over both basins.